welcome back to our channel. Where are we going today, Mr. J? We're off to Ely. After we just filled up with petrol. <laughs> yeah, another mortgage. Um, what's, what's in Ely? I don't know. Oh, there's a cathedral oh, there. Cathedral, yeah. Yeah, we're going to have a look about. Have a look about, and we'll take you with us, eh? See you soon. Wow, the sun's low today. That's how low that is. Dangerous. It is, isn't it? I hope you've got your sunglasses on. Yeah, I've got my cheap £7.99 BP glasses on. I don't like You look like a fly. <laughs> nice picture of the cathedral. Oh, well done. It's disappeared again. Just coming into Ely. Yeah, we think we found somewhere to park. So this is a tight road to coming down here, Babs. Yeah, going down the High Street. <laughs> going down the Ely High Street. There's the walls of, there's the, walls of the cathedral there. Just hope, this, hope we can park. Yeah, I think, I think there's a car park down here, Babs. There is, it's yeah. a, fr a free car park. And I think it's ideal for motorhomes. We'll soon let you know. Right, this is the car park. Four Hill Car Park. It says online that you can, uh, the motorhomes can park in it. It looks busy. <laughs> it looks busy, so have a look, shall we? Everyone's out today. Yeah. yeah I don't think you're going to get anywhere here. No, it doesn't look like it, does it? Well, that was a bit of a drama. <laughs> Went to the car park which we thought we can get in, but it was absolutely rammed. So we've come a little bit out of, we're still in Ely, we're at the Ely Leisure Centre, um, where they've got Nando's, I'll just show you, Nando's, Cine World. Um, but it's about a three quarter mile walk into Ely, um, Ely Town Centre, so put your walking shoes on. I've got my boots on, yeah. <laughs> got your walking boots on. Yeah. We'll take you with us to show you around. Ely Cathedral in all its glory. Proper windy day today. That wind is cold. Cold. No, <laughs> freezing. Yep. We was going to go into Ely Cathedral, but. It's about 14 pound, 15 quid each, which I think is a little bit steep. I understand that you obviously you've got a restoration of the building, but really, it's going to a church. <laughs> nah, not paying. <laughs> on the floor. Yeah, pro autumnal day. Autumnal. 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 <laughs> there we go, the Ely Cathedral sundial. Anyone tell me what the time is? Because I'm not really seeing it to be fair. Sun. What's, right. the, what's the time on the sundial? Twelve o'clock. You can see that can you? I was really impressed that Sam knew what the time was from the sundial. And then again, she was looking at the main clock tower of the clock no. face. Just walking around the grounds, it's beautiful, isn't it? Lovely. Absolutely beautiful. I love the good. School boys. School boys or goy goy? Good, go good. Go what are they called? Gor go gorgles. Yeah, I think, they're, I think they're there. They're always on the back end of churches to protect the church from evil spirits. Well, that's, well, that's what we believe. How true it is, let us know if we're wrong.
Here we go. The it's not psychic, is it? Was it physic? Physic garden. During the medieval period, there was a thriving monastery here at Ely Cathedral. Part of the work of the monastery was to heal the sick. Illness was preliminarily treated using herb plant, using herbs, herbs and, and plants, plants, which were grown at the monastery, gathered locally, and on occasions purchased from the market. And there was us thinking <laughs> that all of the herbs and herbal remedies was actually done by the Chinese, but they weren't. They were done by the monks of Ely. Learn something new every day. Every day. Mm. Another little fact for you. This present site for Ely Cathedral was um, rebuilt in 1088. So that making it really quite old. Like you, Buzz. As old as me? Yeah. Yeah, not quite. But yeah, get in there. We'll feel it today. We're certainly feeling the cold. Here we go, herbs for insect bites, stings and repellents. Penny Royal uses an insect repellent. Thyme for treating bites and stings. And lavender for stewing herbs and an insect repellent as well. Skin complaints. From acne to boils and dry skin to spots, the medieval monks had a wealth of remedies to soothe and heal the skin complaints of their patients. The herbs and plants of this section may be made into ointments, salvies or compressed into help skin problems. Evening primrose, primrose a remedy for facial blemishes. Marshmallow, yum yum yum, <laughs> to, to soothe irritated skin. Marshmallows? To soothe irritated skin. Time a, clean, a cleanser to relieve spots and acne. And ladies mantle an and anti-inflammatory to soothe itching. There we go, a lady's mantle to soothe your itching. <laughs> Always said that was the case. <laughs> yeah, there's loads, just loads of different herbs. To sort out all your remedies. To sort out all your remedies. Who needs to go to a, don't need to ever go to a pharmacy again. The licorice yeah. helps to help with inflammation caused by arthritis. Well, I could do with some licorice. So we're going, uh, let's go and find some. What? I found one for you. Found one for me? What you found? Rosemary. Rosemary. To help to, to help to stop and prevent flacturance. That's yours. Right, we're on the rosemary diet as of tonight then. Let's have a little uh, a little stroll down to the marina, shall we? Yep. I'll warm myself up a bit. Mm. Yeah, it's proper cold, cold today. today. Oh well. Lovely. This is dry. Yeah. <laughs> now we're at the Ely Jubilee Gardens, opened by the Duke of Edinburgh to celebrate the Golden Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II on the 11th of February 2002. Look what we found. The eel of Ely. <laughs> yeah, nice bandstand. Just walking down to uh, Ely Marina. There's a little bit of a water feature going on. Very nice little drink. Huh? I'm actually on the wee. <laughs> <coughs> oh, but this is lovely on a summer's day. Barge, right? Yeah, barge. Barge going out. Probably, I uh, hope you can hear us on the mic. Trains, boats. Not a canoe, is it? What's it? What's it called? Boat boats. We'd rather be in one of them. I'd rather be in a little speedboat, would you? Yeah, I'd be in the speedboat. <laughs> His name 
is said to have come from the word meaning eel island. The taxis in the area were at one time paid by eels. It's like the, uh, it's like the cathedral. 8,000 eels a year from the stones. Seems a bit excessive to me. Then we've got a little, little parish church. St Mary's Parish Church. Who's the most famous person to come from Ely? Um, Oliver Cromwell. Oliver Cromwell? Yeah. And there's his house. Should we go and have a look round? Yeah, shall we? This house was actually built in the early 1200s. We're actually in the kitchen now. Wow, it's certainly got, certainly got a presence to it. It's really good, you get a guided tour on, on, on an audio. Definitely worth doing, really, really interesting. Coming out of the kitchen, we're going up the, going up the stairs. Yeah, I don't think these are genuine stairs. <laughs> Civil War 1642 to 1651. Cut off only the Cromwell soldiers. <laughs> Oliver Cromwell looks out that window and the barns. I know, it's just looking at the blossom tree over there. Very nice indeed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if you're in Ely, I'd certainly recommend coming into the Cromwell house and you know, doing the guided tour. You get an audio set, um, about half an hour. But really, really, really interesting. Enjoyed yeah, it, yeah, really interesting. Really Learned a lot of history. A bit spooky. Yeah, in the bedroom. In the bedroom, it is. <laughs> Cottage. That lovely old building. God, it's got so much history in it. It's Kings of Ely, famous school. A nice big cannon. Had that been used by Oliver Cromwell, I thought it would have been too early. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Boom. Just been in the real ale and craft beer cafe. Yep. Lovely, isn't it? Really quaint. Yeah, recommend you go in there. Hey. Thank you for that. <laughs> Just picked up a, a little, 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 shinky, robin. little robin for Robbie from Steel Garden. <laughs> Steel Garden Co. in Ely Market. And these two people are lovely. <laughs> Thanks guys. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Have a day. And you. Thank you. Wow, it's me. Nice little outfit. Oh, nice. I like the duck green. Look at the duck green. <laughs> duck green's lovely, mate. Lovely little boutique market. That's beautiful, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's nice. 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 This is 
coming. The goose is getting fat. Are they nice reefs up there? Christmas is coming. Hey, excited. <laughs> I think we're, what, what size tree we going to have this year? Big one. No, I think we're better than that. No, we had that last year. Tight. We're having a big one. <laughs> having a big Christmas tree this year. <laughs> Christmas tree in Ely Market. Glory. <laughs> After walking around Ely and showing you guys, time for a pint. Beer. A beer. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Friday. It's under, quite convenient. So underpaths, follow the cycle track down all, all the way into Ely. Then. And what a lovely place Ely was. Yeah, Absolutely enjoyed that. It's good. Yeah. Cold though. <laughs> parts over there. Right, she's got, just got back. Let's take all the security off. There we go, I've got the captain's chair lock on. Have a look in the, uh, I've got a video, I've got a link to that. I just showed you how I actually fitted it in the clutch claw. A little bit of our band security. Well, it's our first night while camping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really, really quiet. It's really, really, really quiet. It's spooky. Yeah, it's dark. We went to um, Oliver Cromwell's house today and obviously listened to the ghost stories of when he was in his bedroom. Mm. <laughs> and I think he might have followed us back. <laughs> uh, we parked up on just on the uh, on the river uh, on the river ooze. Um, we'll show you tomorrow morning because we didn't get here till light. They were quite late and it was not really pitch black when we arrived. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's proper dark, proper quiet, and um, yeah, we'll let you know in the morning how our first wild night. cab night goes. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Had a cracking little park up last night, just on the uh, on the side of the A10, on the way from Ely, Ely down to down the market. Just a just a little slip off road, and it's just right on the banks um, of the river. I think it's the, it's the Great Ooze? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. River Ooze. Yeah, I think yeah. it's the Great Ooze because there's two. And you can just see there, look. Absolutely beautiful. And a couple of boats come past this morning. A little bit of aircraft noise. There must be an American aircraft base close. There's a couple of F 15s that have come over. But yeah. All in all. Absolutely yeah, cracking. Yeah, it's quality. Yeah. This is, where we've, uh, this is where we parked up last night. Beautiful. Just there, right on the banks. There are roofs. There is, got his drone up. Thanks for watching our vlog. I hope you've enjoyed a little, our little trip round Ely and the uh, surrounding areas. And if you like and subscribe, that'd be really good. Oh, you can only like and subscribe if you, you like if it. If you like our vlogs. Yeah. So um, yeah. Thanks. Hopefully, see you again. Yeah. Thanks very much for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Ciao for now.